Hi, this is Robert Plinick, the owner of Brutal Iron Gym. In this video, I just wanted to give a quick kind of discussion about um, using body part measurements to track clients' progress. I've been talking with a fellow trainer, I, about half my clients are actually trainers, and with this trainer, we were talking about a new client for them had asked about doing body part measurements. They asked what my opinion was, and I thought I'd share it in this video. I'm not a big fan of body part measurements as a way to track progress. There's a lot of uh, cons that don't count as much as the pros, and there's better options in my opinion. But in general, what people want body part measurements for is they want some concrete, uh, real, tangible thing that they can see progress in. The downside is, is that often what we're trying to do with most people is if they're trying to lose fat and build muscle, most people just want to look better, so they want better aesthetics. If they're trying to lose fat and build muscle, that will kind of counter each other in the sense of, of how their body parts will change in circumference. Meaning that if I lose a half inch of fat, but I put on a quarter inch of muscle, the only change we can see is that quarter inch. Meaning they won't see, they won't know that there was actually a half inch of fat loss. They only see a quarter inch of change, and they relate that to being only a quarter inch of fat loss. That's going to be a big issue because that's going to be demotivating and it doesn't show the true picture. There's a lot more details, and there's actually a, a podcast that I'd encourage you to listen to. Uh, uh, Brutal Iron Gym has a daily podcast. We have over 1,000 episodes, over 150,000 downloads. And actually, just recently in 2021, we were able to reach all 50 states in the United States and over 100 countries, which is pretty badass. So what I'd encourage you to do is, if you want to learn more about body part measurements, the pros and cons, is to listen to podcast number 389. You can go to any podcast platform you want, search Brutal Iron Gym Podcast. You can also just do a Google search, Brutal Iron Gym Podcast 389. And that's one of our trainer education podcasts. And it's titled Tracking Client Progress. We talk about a bunch of different methods. But I would discourage uh, most clients and most trainers to use uh, body part measurements. Instead, what we typically do with somebody, especially if they're trying to lose weight, they're not at a weight that they want to be, even if they were to change over to you know, all muscle and no fat, they wouldn't want to weigh as much as they weigh. So say somebody weighs 170, 180 pounds, and they would like to weigh 130 or 140. We know that weight loss is going to be part of that. Now, if I step on a scale, there's, there's some give and take of the results, just like there are for measurements. You know, I might lose 10 pounds of fat, gain 2 pounds of muscle, and I only see an, a net of 8 pounds of change. So, what we can do is we can use the weight scale since we know one of the goals or one of the parameters of their goals is to weigh less. We do want to use a weight scale there. But we can also use photos. Nobody likes to take a before photo, but it, take, using photos is actually really progressive and very helpful in the sense that if we're trying to weigh less and look better, how do we best measure those directly? We, we weigh ourselves and we look at how we look. So, if I weigh myself on a scale... And I would encourage you to do that twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays. The idea is that if you do it every single week on the same days, you have more consistency. So do it in the morning. Uh, go to the bathroom, but before you eat or drink anything, weigh yourself. On Mondays and Thursdays mornings. Um, well, I would look at Mondays compared to past Mondays and Thursdays compared to past Thursdays. But why do we do that? Typically, Thursday is a, a good day that kind of represents after your best days of habits. Usually, we do our best habits Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we can weigh ourselves Thursday. Why not Friday? Well... A lot of times people go on vacation on Friday or they take Friday off. It's a little more inconsistent of a day. So Thursdays they're going to be able to weigh themselves pretty consistently. And it represents what we do after a couple days of our best habits. Monday represents what we do after a couple days of probably not our best habits over the weekends. So if we have a big difference in weight from Mondays and Thursdays, Mondays and Thursdays, week to week to week, we know that the weekends were probably being like less consistent and we need to uh, give attention to that. So... If we're going to use body weight, we want to weigh ourselves Mondays and Thursdays, and you look at the, the, tr the trend over four weeks. I'm not going to worry about, you know, from last week to this week, if I'm only down one pound or I'm up half a pound. Look at the trend over four-week periods and make sure that trend is going in the direction you want. For photos, we want to do those uh, typically uh, once a month is a great uh, kind of frequency. Once a week, you're not going to see it very much. You maybe do that to just stay in the habit of it, or if you're getting really close to it, like a competition, if you're doing an aesthetic competition, you actually can see change every week. 
But for most people, doing it once a month is going to be great. And you typically want to do it on kind of like the first Monday of every month. Something that's relatively consistent and typically earlier in the day. Because you have um, kind of more dehydrated from sleeping. You'll look a little leaner. You can see more details rather than at the end of the day. So that's going to be what I would recommend if somebody wants to use body part measurements to track progress. I would stay away from that. Uh, I would instead get my concrete tangible results by using the body weight uh, on a body weight scale and using photos. Cool. If you have any more questions or if you want to learn more about that, like I said, check out Podcast 389. It is a trainer education podcast titled Tracking Client Progress. You can also email us at birdlinergym at gmail.com. Uh, whatever you need, we're always here. We're always available to help. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope this helps. <laughs>